Okay, I just wanted to show a really quick tip of how to set up iSCSI in FreeNAS. So iSCSI is a protocol that works on top of TCP that allows you to write block information over the network. So what does that mean? So this allows us to transfer different types of data over the network. But what's really cool about this is you can basically create a hard drive over the network. Here's how you set it up. So once you have FreeNAS up and running, you want to go into the services tab. Once we go into services, we'll want to turn on iSCSI and we'll want it to start automatically. We're almost there. Then we'll want to configure it. Click the wizard. First, we'll want to name it iSCSI drive. We'll keep the type as device, then we'll select the device, create new, select our pool, select the size, let's make this 20 gigs, hit next. So here we're going to create a new portal, will this bind to any IP? Right here we can restrict the initiators, these are hosts that are going to connect to our SCSI device. Since this is my home network, I'm just going to leave it open, and here we can restrict the network, click submit. And here we're going to save. So we should have our iSCSI target set up now. Let's spin up a virtual machine and add a hard drive. So I just spun up a Windows virtual machine on my Proxmox server, and now we're going to add the iSCSI drive. Let's click Start, search for iSCSI. So now we'll get a prompt about the service not running on Windows. We'll click Yes here. Okay, so now we have the iSCSI initiator properties. Here we're going to add our target. It's the FreeNAS server. And it's discovering our target. And we're connected. Let's open the disk manager to add this new disk. And it discovered our new disk. Let's initialize it. It's online. Let's format it. Let's give it the drive letter E. E. E drive. It's formatting. And here we go. Let's open up Explorer, and here you can see we have our E-Drive. So that's how simple it is to create an iSCSI drive with FreeNAS. This is really awesome because some applications I use require a drive letter and not a map drive. But do keep in mind that this does add some additional system load to your FreeNAS server, but this is normal and something you should just keep an eye on. So that's all you need to do to create an iSCSI drive on FreeNAS. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time, stream on my friends.